is Michelle Ramia, aka God Girl. Just coming to you today. How you doing? I hope you had a great week. And um, I want to say hi to all my friends that are watching. And I want to thank everyone who is watching now. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for subscribing to me. My subscribers are up like 12 people. I'm so excited. <laughs> Maybe that's not a lot to you, but to me, that's a lot. So thank you for subscribing. And I also want to say hi to all my friends, like Lowe's, who's always praying for me and is very encouraging. And of course, Joe's girl. Joe, how are you doing? Did you lose another pound this week? I was wondering, you didn't say anything. And of course, my best friend, Patty Choi, who's in Keller, Texas, and she has a beautiful green lawn now that she's mastered. And uh, of course, my friend, As If. I think he's in Pakistan. I want to say he's in Pakistan. I might be wrong. But hi, as if how you doing? And also my friend Michael and his sister Marion in Nigeria. In Nigeria, I, I, you know how they say hello in Nigeria? They say hello. <laughs> I know it's crazy, right? Um, I was asking him to teach me a new Nigerian word every day. So I said, "So how do you say hello in Nigerian?" He goes, "Hello." I'm like, "Thanks." Smart Alec. <laughs> Slap. How do, you, how do you say slap you in, in Nigerian? <laughs> also, I want to say hi to my posse. Did I already say that? To Vicky W and Sarah R. Tell them hi and I love you. And thank you for all your supporting, your love and your prayers. And I totally appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Also, um, Heather Nebraska, my daughter, and her four lovely, grand, four lovely children, which are my grandchildren. And, um... What else? Oh, King Anslem. I want to say um, hi to him and tell him thank you for saying that I'm beautiful and confident. <laughs> thank you. I'll pay you later. And um, let's see. Oh, and a cute thing that Luce's um, grandson said to her. He said, Grandma, she looks just like you. It's like, okay. <laughs> That's cool. And then also Lou said that um, I was beautiful inside and out. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, that's why I take a shower. Beautiful inside and out, right? Whatever. I need help, okay? There's my earrings. Dun, 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 dun. And if you saw my eyeshadow, it's very blue. Blue, blue, blue on blue, heartache, oh heartache, blue on blue, now that we are through. I'm just blue. I'm not really blue, I'm just blue. Anyway, how uh, is the diet going? The diet's not going, the diet's sucking right now. I am up three pounds, don't know where, don't know why. Um, let me see. Had a fight with one of my guy friends, and so I ate bad. Shame. Shame. Anyway, so, gotta, gotta, gotta get back on the keto wagon, man. The keto wagon. Gotta fix the tires and get back on the keto wagon. Um, there was other stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm at 54 pounds down, and I got 71 more to go. By June next year, 2021, it's the Bobby Flay 125 pound challenge. Yay! Hashtag Bobby Flay, send it to him, see if we can get something going over there. So I can go to New York and hang out with him for an uh, afternoon and talk with him story. Like they say in Hawaii, talk story. Talk story, brah. Yeah, that's what we say in Hawaii. And um, what else? Oh, someone was asking me what is going on, what is the update on the um, Romancing the Flight. That was, um, was it last week or the week before last? It was the week before last video. I think it was July, it was on July, July 15th, something like that. Um, the update on that, of the pilot is that um, he's working on a book and it's called the cro uh, it's called 19 hours it's from a crossing um for uh, from the pacific ocean from oakland to honolulu and he said as soon as he gets that published he's gonna come to hawaii and visit me and he has already asked me to marry him and i have said that ask me in person 
and I'll give you an answer. That kind of question needs to be answered in person, I think. So I'll keep you updated to what I say. And uh, he sent me a beautiful foot bath that you pour water in and all this cool stuff, hydrogen peroxide and a couple of pounds of um, chocolate covered almonds. Maybe that's not a good idea, but that's my weakness. So um, he's sending that, he, I think it just came today. And so that was sweet of him. So he's still great. So I'll keep you posted on that. <clears throat> and then, um, so I was talking with my daughter Holly and she was saying that, um, cause I was complaining that I met a lot of bad guys. And especially on the internet too. There's tons of these Nigerian, I call them cafe boys. They're boys that are trying to hustle you, hustle American women or any kind of woman really for money, you know. And <laughs> my daughter Holly said, you gotta kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prince. And I, <laughs> she said, um, the more experiences you have become lessons that you learn increasing the tools I'm reading this verbatim in your toolbox you don't lose until you stop trying well I say I say you only stop losing when you stop trying <laughs> because the more you keep trying the more you keep losing to me that's what that means okay maybe I'm crazy but if I just like lay low and do nothing i would be okay I think you know how that goes it's like I get more in trouble the more I look the more trouble I get so just like God can you just bring him to me and so I don't have to do anything anyway um <laughs> what else did I want to say I want to say a lot of um, a lot of people gave me some really nice comments on my keto food my gourmet keto food that I did um, they liked it and they're looking at they're getting excited for my cookbook thanks you guys that's so sweet of you and um, trying to look at my notes over here I don't want to miss anything. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. That's Proverbs 35, 35. And um, yeah, I did the update and I said hi to everybody. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to say, so what I want to talk about a little bit today was that um, sometimes your brothers and your sisters aren't exactly what you want them to be and you can't choose them and you can't make them what what you want them to be it's like um getting a rock and telling the rock be a flower be a flower be a flower the rock can't be a flower because the rock is a rock right so we gotta just kind of accept them where they're at we can still pray for them and hope that they'll change but we have to be accepting of whatever or however they are now and um, I'm getting my notes. I don't want to forget anything. Um, still pray for them and believe that they'll change because they, they can and they will. Yeah, we just have to accept them where they're at and we can still pray for them and believe good things for them, but we can't change them. That's true, right? And sometimes when we need directions from God about handling things in our life like our brothers and sisters or father or people that we have issues with, relationships with other people. Um, we want directions from God and he doesn't always make them clear. And I was driving behind an ambulance. <laughs> That's nice. Why was I doing that? I just happened to be behind him, okay? And I noticed this big yellow light and it was an arrow and it flickers. It's really bright and it really tells you, I'm going to the right. I'm going to the left. It was clear direction. And I was thinking, man, if only God could be like that. <laughs> Just give us clear direction. But he doesn't give us direction all the time. So I say when you don't get direction, don't do anything. Just wait for God's perfect timing. And before you jump and do something, give it a little time. If you're not sure if you want to marry somebody, don't rush. Give it some time. Let it reveal itself. Let it come forward. And just trust the Lord. But don't jump. Please don't jump and don't have to kiss every frog. <laughs> Just most frogs. No, 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 ignore me. Um, so yeah, the flashing yellow light. I was noticing that. I was thinking that's something good I can share with my God group people. Um, and that, um, 
And I, yeah, I wish that God would have more direction for us and tell us and be really clear and say, you need to do this, you need to do that. One of the ways that you can um, check and see if you're doing something that's in the will of God, you, uh, you ask yourself, will this help fulfill my destiny? Will God be pleased with this decision? Will it, will it work out? Is it something that will benefit the kingdom of God? Will it help humanity? Will it help me? Will it help my life go forward? Things like that. You want to ask those kinds of questions. And that'll help you give a better answer too. Um, will it fulfill my destiny? Yeah. Will it? Are you sure? No, I'm just kidding. That's what I've been talking. Okay, look. Okay, I have this little guilty pleasure. Okay, shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, I like to go on Facebook and I like to mess around with the scammers. <laughs> shh, don't tell anyone. My friend Michael would be really mad if he knew I was doing that. Anyway, <laughs> they always say the same thing. They say that they're not divorced, they're widowed. Oh, I'm talking about guys that you talk to on Facebook that are pretending to be these people. They're really like 27 year old guys in Nigeria trying to hustle women for money. Okay, so I get online. <laughs> should I tell this? I don't know if I should tell this. Okay, well, it's too late. Anyway, so they always have this thing that's happening. They always say that they're a widow and that they have two children and that they're usually, um, <clears throat> let's see, they have two children back home. They're an engineer and they're working for the military. I actually met a brigadier general, yes. And he was 31, wasn't that amazing? A general that was 31. I said, you breaking, you're breaking all sorts of records, sir. How did you do that? Oh, that's hysterical, that's hysterical. So the thing that I ask them, that really makes them mad. So they use a fake picture. They get this fake picture and they, they have all these pictures around. So don't send your pictures to people because they're gonna use them to have other people fall in love with them and all that garbage. So don't do that, don't do your pictures. <clears throat> so, so the picture's fake, it's not even a real picture. It's a fake picture of somebody else. Somebody has no idea that another person's being manipulated and falling in love with someone else. Oh my gosh. And um, I always ask them, so how is the rain in Nigeria? I hear the season is really bad. That it's very rainy this season. And they don't say anything. It's totally quiet. It's totally quiet. And then all, all of a sudden on the bottom of the page it says, this member has chosen not to communicate with you anymore. Is no longer available. <laughs> so great. So fun, you guys. It's really fun. It's <laughs> bad. Shh, don't tell anyone that I'm doing that. It's very naughty. Just, you know, what can I say? I'm a bored person, I guess. I'm a bored person on Facebook messing around with scammers. Because they got to get their just desserts. And they're not on keto, so they can have whatever kind of desserts they want. Yeah. So, yeah, I know, I'm weird. Sorry, try to back away a little. There you go. You don't need to see up my nose. I'm pretty sure. Uh, what else is I going to talk to you guys about? Oh, let me read from what my notes are. Oh, it's 14 minutes. I got to go. God talking to you, showing you the way. Go. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I want to talk to you a little bit more, and then I'm going to go. Right now, you can just do housework around the house. Just watch. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Please. I'll be your best friend. Really, I will. Well, you know, the best I can do. Um, we should be... <laughs> Your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend should be like an 18-hour Playtex bra. Yes, that's what I said, an 18-hour Playtex bra. There to lift and support you. If you don't know what an 18-hour Playtex bra is, think of maiden form or something like that, okay? That's an old idea. They used to have, they used to never have commercials of bras on the, compu on the computer, on the TV, and then now they do. Now you can have the cable guy over at your house, and this woman comes in on the TV while the cable guy's there talking to you about a problem, and this woman is half naked in her panty and bra. Do you know how uncomfortable that is? When well, you have a strange cable guy in your house, and you're standing in front of the TV set, and some woman in a panty commercial comes and stands in her panty and her bra. I mean, 
Really? That's just, oh man. So embarrassing. I want to cover up the TV. Well, he's there. Just stand in front of it. Excuse me. Could you, could you go over there, please? There's, there's a naked woman half naked on TV. Okay, anyway. Uh, maybe I should just continue this later because I'm already past my, okay. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just push through. I'll push through. 18 hour Playtex bra <laughs> there to lift and support you. <laughs> you know, because it has a wire in it. Hello. Uh, when you feel down and you're feeling low, for things that we need uh, from our soulmates is our sexuality. Yeah, I said that. Mom, sorry, Mom. Our spiritualness, our intellectual understanding, our emotional understanding, and our spiritual understand, our spiritual situation. And I think probably the first two are the strongest. The um, spiritual belief that we have the same basic belief system and the emotion. Um, because the person and the soulmate, they should master how to understand your emotions because that's a big part of who you are. And that can help um, because money can come and go. And looks can come and go, as we all know. <laughs> and weight can go up and down. <laughs> like an elevator and intellectualism intellectualism you like that word I just made it up um, can dim <clears throat> but if your man or woman understands you they can break down the walls and help crumble hurt feelings is that cool and it can help it helps hurt feelings that chip away at relationships. Love is like a building block or like when you're building a wall with stones, it's like the mortar. It keeps all the rocks together and the rocks are like little problems that you overcome in your marriage or your relationship. You know, there are things, problems that you've solved and you lay down another brick, you lay down another rock and you put some mortar. And the mortar is love and understanding and forgiveness and the more you do those things, the stronger your foundation is and the stronger your wall is. Isn't that interesting? Can you believe it's coming from me? No, really? Really? <laughs> yeah, so it's good to lay down a good foundation with stones and to it helps them stay in place and that love is everything. In fact, it uh, forgives a quantity of mistakes and overlooks imperfections. And forgiveness is what the Bible talks about. And also, it talks about love. And it says, after everything passes away, the earth, the stars, the sky, the universe, the one thing that's going to remain is going to be love. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that beautiful? So, love is like a godlike emotion. It's a beautiful thing. It's something we should perpetuate and master. We're always talking about mastering money, mastering finances, mastering this, mastering that, cooking, whatever. What about mastering love? What about mastering kindness? And then those things from that give us peace, right? So that's my thought for today. <laughs> I'm here to torture and punish you and I've done my job today. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to tell you, I love you, I love you, I love you, and I kiss you on your cheek, and I kiss you on your forehead, and I kiss you on your other cheek, and I kiss you on your chin, and I kiss you on your nose. Now you've been kissed by God, girl. Have a great week, and I'll see you again in a couple days, and I love you, and God loves you, and don't forget to come back. In seven days, I don't know if it's Sunday. I don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time with the channel. And come back, same bat time, same back channel. I love you. Have a great day. Don't forget God loves you. And do something wonderful for yourself and do something wonderful for somebody else. I love you.